Hello, hello. Welcome. It's going to give everybody a second to get on and watch as we go live. So welcome to the spa night. Oh, I am so ready to wash my face off. So ready. I hope you guys are looking forward to this. Um, I would love to know, and if even if you're catching the recording, drop a comment and tell me what's the best part about your summer so far. I am loving the mild weather. It's actually pretty mild here in Utah. And um, so it's just really fun. But um, hi, Chrissy. So glad you're here. By the way, if you are watching through Julie's Beauty Tribe, instead of the um, YouTube link, you'll want to make sure that you give StreamYard, because I'm coming through StreamYard, um, so that I could cast it in both places, um, so that I'll know your name when it comes up. But Chrissy, I see you, so thanks so much. So I know there's a couple other people on. Drop a comment, say hello. I'm going to do a drawing um, at, the, at the end for everybody who was actually watching the live. We're going to give away some fun stuff. So hi. Okay, so somebody just said hi, Julie, but it just says Facebook user. So say hi, Julie, this is. Do, me th do that for me. That'll help. And then I'll know everybody that's here. I should brought pen and paper. Oh, I have pen. Woo! -hoo! You know, I've gotten good at leaving paper in my bathroom too. So, but welcome, welcome. Okay, so I thought before we get started, we'll get everybody a second to just kind of um, get in here and stuff. I was on with my makeup artist yesterday. And, you know, every time I, um, I every time I, oh, hi, Renee. Glad you made it, Renee. Um, so, Oh, and Chrissy says she just got back from the beach last Thursday. Oh, I bet that was fun. Oh, oh you're one and a half year old. Were they afraid of the water? I hope not. Um, but if they were, they'll, they'll, they'll get unafraid. Okay, so I have to share this little tip and then we're going to dive into cleaning our face. Um, but I was with a makeup, my makeup, favorite makeup artist yesterday. She was teaching us things and she was teaching us some fun things with these um, cream cheek cheek and lip colors and um now mary Kay had done it but they didn't test it on the eyes but i don't know if you can see this guys but i have actually got the purple one that most people are afraid of and i actually have it right here so they go really well over regular eyeshadow and i put it on this morning because i thought i wonder if that will crease throughout the day and i literally went to the gym before this and i was sweating so bad i laid on the floor because you know sometimes when you work out so hard you just want to lay down like you're going to die that's kind of how I felt. And then you get up and you see that you've left a sweat angel on the floor. So this is how well the makeup stays on. Even when you sweat, if you're wearing, here's my little tip. It's foundation primer and finishing spray. Let me just show you what those are. Um, so every day I put makeup on, foundation primer goes on underneath. And then I put my finishing spray over the top. This stuff is fantastic. Hi, Loretta. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a fun little thing. Um, and I'm using the cream color brush. And so um, if I were gonna do, and I'll put a little bit on my eye, it'll be a little bit darker so you can kind of see it, but I just pat a little bit, just a little tiny bit. And then I'm just gonna go in my crease with that color. So you can see how bright it is, but then you can soften it by just blending with the clean side of your brush. I've even like used my finger a little bit. I apologize, my nails are terrible, but they needed a break from my falsies so but look at that isn't that amazing okay okay that's not all i learned ombre lipping so i'm going to do the same things because this stuff is cheek and lip so i'm going to use the lux um i think it's called lux purple lux so i'm just gonna a little bit again and an ombre lip you go on the outside edge of your lip so just like the sides not the center and what's really fun about this is I loved the look that it gave. And I even like earlier today, I, I did a little bit of a lip liner. And what I also like is that you can make it as dark or as soft. So it looks kind of funny, right? Because there's nothing in the middle, but this is how you do the ombre. Then I'm going to grab the peach shimmer and I'm just going to put that right in the middle and go into the um purple it kind of gives you when you do something when your lipstick is lighter if you're going to do an ombre lip ever start with your darkest shade on the outside edge and then go um and keep your lighter shade on the inside it actually makes your lips look a little fuller and almost like you're pouting um which is a good thing if you're single like me and you're trying to get attention 
I'm just saying, just kidding. Um, but it does make them look poutier. So isn't that pretty? And it's just a fun, so you could like mix them. It's just a fun way to use these fun cheap colors. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's take it off. <laughs> um, one of my favorite things to use, and um, I wanted to be sure that y'all see, and I think most of us that are on tonight are consultants. So I wanna just kind of take you through um, some of my favorite routines. And then these are the things I show in my parties. So I love the satin lips. And um, I'm going to use this, the scrub to take off my um, lipstick. And it's a sugar scrub. So the joke is, you can lip your lips, it tastes good, and it's not breaking your diet. So if you're on a diet, and you can't eat sugar, then you're probably going to use this a lot more often. <laughs> I know I do. Um, and uh, but when you exfoliate your lips, because your lips don't have the ability to do that, when you exfoliate them, did you know that your lipstick looks better? Your lips look more plump and full and your lipstick wears better and longer. So I just massage it around. You can actually throw this in your, um, where can you throw it? You can throw it in your shower. And I'm just gonna use a washcloth or actually the edge of my hand towel because it's about ready for the laundry and take this off. But it also takes off your, um, it'll take off your lipstick. So that's one of my favorite products there. And then um, for right now, we have a special option. So we have the lip balm and the lip balm will hydrate for 12 hours. But we also, and that's our satin lip set is the two pieces. I love that because it, um, if you like, if you feel like you're grabbing for chapstick constantly, that's like, you're probably addicted to it. Like I'm talking like CarMax and chapstick and some of those other brands um, because the number one ingredient is menthol or alcohol. And unfortunately, those things dry your lips out. And so we put shea butter in ours so they hydrate really well. But for a limited time, we have these cute, um, these are the just lip balms. One of them is a uh, berry. It almost smells like a paint, like a strawberry daiquiri a little bit. And then the other one is uh, guava. And they are so great. So I love these. They've been like, I mean, mm, yum. And they hydrate for 12 hours. So you won't be grabbing them and putting them on constantly. Oops, I forgot my upper lip. My personal tube lasts me yeah, about six months and just using it once a day. So that's a fun option that we have available. Also, um, you know, when you, how, if, if any of you are washing your face a lot um, or struggle with dry hands, then you definitely want to use satin hands. So just a couple of uh, pointers on the satin hands. And I like these two because I do like to lift weights, um, but I don't like the calluses that you get um, underneath your fingers on this part. So this is really great for that. Um, and if you think about it, your, your hands, just as a fun fact, your hands are the one top of the top places that you age. And so caring for your hands is um, just like you care for your face is really important. And so this is one of our most popular sets, satin hands, and you have a, a hand softener, and then you have the smoothie scrub. And you put these two things, like just a pump and, a, and about a pea size amount on your hands and rub them together. You can also do this to your feet. So say goodbye to sandal um, crusty heels. <laughs> it's like summertime and crusty heels. They just go together, right? So you can say goodbye to that with those. Um, massage it around. Get your husband to massage your feet with this or your or your, your spouse, your spice. That's what we call them. And, um, and then they get their hands done and they don't even know it. Um, and then you rinse them off and put the hand cream on. The hand cream will hydrate for um, 24 hours. So you you can wash your hands like up to 16 times before you're gonna lose the moisture from um, just doing satin hands once. I also like to use the hand softener. I put a thin layer anywhere on my body that I feel like I'm extra dry. So those are some of my favorite things about satin hands and lips. And then let's go ahead and take our eye makeup off. So um, I hope you wash your face every morning and evening. It's really important to do that. And even if you don't, so I had a client, she commented in one of my groups, she says, I'm so glad I don't wear makeup because um, I wouldn't want to have to deal with that. And because uh, I'm tired and I sleep in my makeup sometimes. And so um, I was excited to share with her about why it's really important to use eye makeup remover, even if you don't wear mascara or eye makeup, because we have these really fun bugs. Everybody gets them. Um, they're called eyelash mites. So I like to call this the critter getter. And because I have on like waterproof products on my eyes, I let it sit for a second. And then I just kind of gently wipe the eye area and it'll take off all of my eye makeup and mascara without tugging at that general area. But let me show you this, check this out. 
You see that picture right there? Those little bugs, those are eyelash mites. And when you don't clean your lashes or take your makeup off at night, they come out and they feed on dried eye makeup and dead skin cells. Like gross, right? And they're like the picture above it is in somebody's lashes. She has like at a detense amount. So it's really important to use eye makeup remover. It's two parts cleanser or it's two parts. It's one part cleanser and one part conditioner. So, um, and I can get away with just using the same cotton pad for each one. But what's like your biggest, um, like, I guess, hold up, drop a comment if you can. Um, what's your biggest like beef about taking your makeup off at night? What like, what would detour you? Like, I can't stand sleeping in mine anymore, but I used to all the time just because I would stay up too late or I fall asleep um, with a light on while I was reading in bed or something. But I'm curious, what, what are your, what are your things? What is, what happens in your life that makes it less likely to wash your makeup off at night? I bet you nobody's going to admit to that one after showing that picture, right? I'm like, no, I take that off every night. Ew. <laughs> so, and I get a little bit of a lag here, so I apologize. Um, it takes me a minute to respond. The next thing I want to share with you is um, my solar water. Um, this is kind of like, if you think about when you clean your floors, um, when we clean our floors, we typically sweep the floor before we mop because, um, oh, just tired, right? Renee, I get it. Um, so we sweep the floors before we mop. So when you're just tired, what's really great, um, <laughs> thanks, Chrissy. It's a, what a, that's brave of you to admit. I used to because you were, you were lazy. I get it. We all get there. So these are kind of my lazy girls cleaners. Like really, if you, you know, if, like, if, if nothing else, every woman should have both of these, the eye makeup remover and the micellar water. I love about the micellar water is you don't have to have water to rinse your face because you don't even have to rinse it. So I call it the lazy girl cleaner. So Chrissy or, or Renee or me, we can get away with this sometimes. And what's great about the micellar water is the micelles in it act like magnets and they take off the makeup so they they take off that top layer of dirt and so again think of it like sweeping your floors before you mop and um but if i wanted to just i love this also when i go to the gym if i'm like in the morning or something and then coming out or if i have been to the beach or the lake or camping then i can just throw a little bit of this on a cotton pad and wash it to my face just like this and look, there it all is. I have these little um, washable cotton ones. You can find them on Amazon. Um, Mary Kay had them for a little while. Actually, now we can get them for you through Mary Kay. Uh, I forgot. They just, I just, oh, wait. Not yet. It's coming. <laughs> so, sorry. Teaser. But, um, oh, yeah, it does work so well on foundation. So, you can take this in. I, I could just put my moisturizer on and go to bed if I wanted to. That's why I call laser girl. But that's not what I want to do all the time. So, but when I'm doing my makeup normally and what I have found too, because I have very oily blemish prone skin, but when I added that micellar water to my um, regimen or my routine at night, my skin, I rarely get a pimple these days. Um, and I'm, I'm actually in the middle, in the midst of perimenopause. So my hormones are all over the place, um, which is loads of fun. Um, but at least I don't have like pimples all over the place. So I'm really happy about that. But speaking of cleansing your face, this is my favorite um, tool to use it with. Some of you know what I call it. Don't spoil it yet, I'll tell you. But this is the Sonic um, brush system. And so, okay, so when you were a little girl, here's why you would want to use a brush versus your hands or a washcloth. So if when you were little and you go to your friends to spend the night, typically, um, you know, if you were like me, we always forgot our toothbrushes, you know, unless your mom packed your bag. And so you get there, you copious amounts of sugar. And then, so I would put a little toothpaste on my finger and try to brush my teeth with it. Well, brushing your teeth with your finger is the equivalent of, of washing your hands or washing your face with your hands. And so I love the Sonic brush and it oscillates, which is just a fancy word that instead of circle making circles, it vibrates back and forth 200 times per second, which is why it got dubbed the vibrator for your face. It was a total accident, but it's been funny. That's what I've been calling it. So, um, but I like to use this and you can take it in the shower. The heads pop off on and off really easily. Um, it's waterproof. You just can't like dunk it in tub water. Um, it has a rechargeable cord, so you don't have to worry about batteries. And it's the same cord you charge your phone with if you have an Android. Um, there's a minute timer and there's three speeds. It can go soft, medium, or hard. 
and I like it right in the middle. And then we also, to make things even better, did you know that you have like 43 muscles in your face? And so when we massage the muscles in our face, they relax and the muscles relax and the wrinkles fall out. They like smooth out more. So we have a massage attachment. It's for your face. Okay. Just saying it's for your face. I feel like I got like a hair stuck on my nose. It's making me laugh. So, but you can massage your serums in and they get in a little bit deeper in the skin. But you know what else happens when your skin is that clean, like four times cleaner than your hands in a washcloth, then your skincare does a much better job and everything gets deeper and cleaner and works faster. And I am all about younger, faster. So if I could just get a diet program attachment head for this, right? Anybody, if we should put those um, suggestions in the Mary Kay, could you come up with that for us, please? Thank you. Um, or a um, or a lotion that just rubs away excess fat cells. I'm, I'd be down for that too. And then I'd be like, bring on the brownies. Okay, sorry, I digress. <laughs> As we... Um, can you massage moisture? You can, Chrissy. Good question. Can she ask, can you mo massage moisturizer in too? Absolutely. Okay. Before we dive into the um, miracle set, um, I wanted to just kind of tell you a little bit about your options with Mary Kay. And you know what? I totally forgot. See, I've been doing this for 24 years. I hope I give you hope. Um, I sometimes forget things. And so let me back up for just a second. Let's play a game if you're able to. I think Renee's driving, but if you're kind of sitting still, um, grab a piece of paper and a pen and draw a big old tic-tac-toe board on it. And the goal, and the goal is you'll have nine boxes, or some people are going to call this a hashtag. You'll have nine boxes. Just write the products in that you like that I shared with you. Um, and maybe make a, a wish list for yourself. And then at the end, I'll tell you can turn this into your consultant. I'm going to ask you three quick questions and you can turn it into your consultant for a gift. So um, just for just for playing along with us tonight. OK, so hopefully that's clear. You just write down. And if you don't want to do a tic-tac-toe, just write down. The goal is to get nine things listed. OK, so we're going to start off with the different skincare options that we have. And, um, and so that, you know, you're not like pigeonholed into one thing. One of the things I love about Mary Kay is we can customize and target exactly what you want from an actual skincare uh, program. So um, we can make it short. We can be effective with a few things. We can target wrinkles. We can target, um, uh, what do you call those things? Dark spots. We, we can target um, skin. I mean, you, if you don't like it, we'll figure it out. So um, the first one that I like to show off, and this is our men's skincare set. Because, you know, we looked around and we know, and you may have noticed too, that men actually have skin. And so we have a line designed for them. And it's just a cleanser, a moisturizer. And then there's a, an aftershave and a shave foam. And the shave foam is awesome, ladies. I use it in the shower sometimes. So I go back and forth between it and the two-in-one body shave. The next one, so um, and I, since we talked about vibrators for your face, let's talk about bras. Because I think if um, skincare is really relatable when I talk about bras. So this is the botanicals line and it's basically for younger skin that's not shown the signs of aging. So I call this the training bra. Um, there's no anti-aging to it, but it is really great. It smells good. There's no fragrance, but it, but it just smells good because it's got dragon fruit extracts in there. So you've got a cleanser, a toner, and a moisturizer. And then the next set that we have that's an option is um, this is our clear proof regimen. It's our incredible acne fighting line. It's powerful, but it's gentle and you get really great results in just one week. So I call this the specialty bra, um, <clears throat> you know, like a nursing bra or something like sometimes skin needs a little more of TLC. Then we're going to go back to the seventies and we're going to, or sixties and seventies and we're going to burn the bras and we're going to be bra less. And so this is our naturally line and it has a cleanser and a moisturizing stick, but it also has an exfoliating powder, which is great for those of you that have rosacea and, and your skin's too sensitive for one of our stronger exfoliants. Um, and I love the nourishing oil because I can use it in my hair to calm the frizz down. I have a lot of curly hair and, um, and sometimes it's like a curly fuzz ball on my head. I feel like I could wear a cheese puff sometimes, but I love that oil for that. And it smells really good. And I can put it around my cuticles to help heal my nails. My personal favorite that I use is the Wonder Bra Push-Up, and that is the Repair Skincare line. And so this is for advanced signs of aging. So it targets deep wrinkles and um, lines, and it contains retinol in the night cream. And then what we're going to use tonight is the Miracle 3D set. So, um, and that one I refer to as the Sports Bra Skincare because 
everybody can wear a sports bra. We can't necessarily get out of them, but we can get in them, right? That's why I started buying zipper front ones because I was like, good grief, it was acrobats trying to get out of that sucker. It's like you get it on and then you sweat and then it doesn't come off. So I don't know, maybe it's just me. <laughs> but um, okay, so the Miracle 3D set. Here's what's really great. Did you know that only 20% of how old you look happens naturally? That just has anything to do with your age, just 20%. The rest of it, that means, guys, 80% we can control. 80%. That's huge, right? So I can I can look 47, 20% of the time, right? <laughs> and then 80% of me better not look it. <laughs> so, but I'm going to show you how to do, um, how to control that 80%, just three steps in the morning and three steps in the evening. And we can customize it. So we're going to start off with a, a four-in-one cleanser. If you got a sample packet, you're welcome to use your samples. If you already have this, go ahead and do it with us. But the, um, this was in development for five years. It has encapsulated resveratrol in it. That's like it's really fancy, sciencey word. But here's basically what it is, which is kind of cool. Encapsulated resveratrol is um, the same thing that plants use to, to produce to heal themselves when they get damaged or injured. And so it's also in dark chocolate and red wine. So ladies... If that is your thing, like if you are a wine drinker or you are like me, a dark chocolate connoisseur, like think Cookie Monster, but dark chocolate, we are anti-aging from the inside out. Just saying. Um, but this is in your cleanser and um, it defends, it delays and it delivers. So it does this in just three. Um, there's three D's. And so the first D stands for um, defends against free radicals that age us. And I just like to get a little bit of extra water on my face because I think it feels better. Um and by the way, because I know some of you know I'm working on a big goal and, and a few people have asked, like, do I have to take my makeup off? Do I have to do this live in person on the, on like, do I have to do this? Uh, no, you don't have to take makeup off at all. I just got to do it anyway. So that's why I do it. But um, I remember for years, I used to just, um, oh, by the way, do this, uh, go up and out with your cleanser. You got to use your fingers today if you don't have a brush. But um I would just do, a, I would stand with a group of ladies at your kitchen table and I never took my makeup off. So this was a whole new thing for me. But you know what I do like about it? I don't forget to do my masks and my exfoliation because I do them with a party at least once a week. So, um, but anyway, so this is going, it's loaded with antioxidant. It, it delays the look of premature aging skin with UV and UVB protection, which has that protection, not just from the sun, but you're computer screens, televisions, and cell phones and tablets. And so, and it has resveratrol, vitamin B3, and peptides in it. So it delivers the results in just four weeks. Guys, that is lightning fast for a skincare program. And your cleanser alone, this thing that we're rubbing our face with, the four in one has four products in one. So this is cleansing the skin. It's also, it's getting that deeper cleanse. And then it's um, toning. It's got a built-in toner to tighten the pores. It's got, it's going to even out your skin tone. So it's got a brightener in there, not to make you look paler, but it just brightens your skin, all the stuff that's darker. And what else does it do? Cleanse, exfoliates. Oh, exfoliates. That's the other one. So it also exfoliates. So we're just going to rinse this off. And, um, and then we'll go right into a mask. And I'm going to show you guys a fun new mask tonight. Um, and I'll tell you about some of my other favorites. But this one is one of our limited edition and there's a special for our customers. Our consultants get a special and sometimes we like to just pass that on to y'all. So um, I'm gonna show you that mask. So, but go ahead and rinse your cleanser off if, if you're doing this with me. If not, I'll do it real quick and show you. Okay, so, you know, and Chrissy, I think you said you went to the beach. Did you ever feel like, like sometimes after you go to the beach, and you've been out, or just if you've been out in the sun all day, you go inside, you take a shower and, or, you know, I always, it always baffled me, especially if I played in water all day that I would come out and I would feel dry later. Does anybody else get that? Like, you know, you're in the sun all day and then you're just like, and then all of a sudden you feel super dry. So you would think in the summer, we don't need extra hydrating, moisturizing things, but I, um, I do sometimes. So I have a couple of masks, but I thought it would be fun. And I was going to show you guys. So for um, we have special edition masks, and these are our hydrating sheet masks. Now there's eight to a box, and they're half price right now. So you can get a box of these for twenty, 
And um, instead of 40, that's what they regularly are. And they're so fun. Look, they come like this. Oops, I got it upside down. They come like this and all your good juices are over here. So I'm gonna actually show you how easy it is to use one of these. But what does this mask do? Ooh, let me tell you, let me tell you. So what it does, hang on, I gotta look for my small print writing because I have all my words here. Okay, let's see. The, okay, so the gel is filled with skin conditioning ingredients known to moisturize and soften the skin. So in, when mixed with the rich hydrating essence, the cellulose fiber sheet mask delivers a gel-like experience offering superior skin adhesion to the mask and stays put. And so the, um, it basically gives um, retained over 100% of its dry weight and moisture. And let's see, what does it do? Let's do. And you can leave it on for 10 or 20 minutes. So it's just going to really hydrate the skin. So here's what's fun. And what's nice too is if you're traveling this summer, but you want to take a little fun thing with you, you want to take the whole box, just grab one packet because there's eight in a pack. So how I get the juice from here to here is I just um, bend it and then I'm going to these little fold lines. I'm going to bend it again and I'm going to bend it again. And then I'm going to, I think I've done this. It's been a hot minute. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's what I did. Okay. I'm going to laugh so hard if I can't figure out how to do this. Okay, wait, wait. Let me read the instructions. Bend, bend, directions. Maybe I'm bending it backwards. Nope, I'm doing it right. Oh, that's what happened. Okay. I had to push the stuff up. Jeez Louise. You sent, oh, I know the sun, the after sun gel is so great. Ha, got it, I think. I, you know what? I should have busted this before I got on because I'm having a moment here. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is funny. Okay. I'm following the directions. You, you, you do it. You know what? Now I'm embarrassed. Hold on. It is not this hard. I am doing something wrong. Hold on. Directions. Let's read them. Hold the folded mask and firmly push the essence. Oh, that's why I need a hard surface. Let me use my counter. Hold on. <laughs> You too can so Mary Kay. <laughs> no, no, Julie can't do it. I can't do it. I am mask retarded. It is not this hard. Why is this hard? Please tell me you're laughing at me. It's like one of those ice. Yes, it is like one of those ice packs I have to pop. Oh, maybe I go this way. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Ha! Got it. I think. Yes, I got it. Okay. Okay. Oh, you know what? I could cut it open, but that's not fun. No, actually. Okay. So now that we got it figured out, what you do is you fold it in half and then you fold it like you fold it again and then you rub on it. So you're going to have to put it on a counter and rub it and then it pops it. And now... I don't know if you can see this. All of the juice is up here and I can push it right on this side because you want, you want to be able to push that over and then massage it onto that little sheet and then you tear it open. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right. Thanks for loving me. <laughs> you know, I hope I'm not the only one that ever does this <laughs> in their bathroom sometime. Okay. So then I get now it's, now it's good. Oh yeah, yeah, it's good. Okay, so it's juicy. It's good and juicy. And then you just, ah, don't drop it. That's what you do, do. You know what? I almost feel like we could have made this a funny Instagram reel. I might could make money on my ineptitude here. Okay, so here we go. All right, there's even a nose flap. And then you just put the crazy stuff on your face. Oh my gosh, well, that feels good. Ta-da! And if there's more juice in your packet, just pat it in. 
one of the things I like to do with extra stuff like this, because we have two other ones. So I'm going to tell you why I've got this crazy, scary thing on. Oh, look, I put that over my mask. Oh, thank you. I know. Do you think I could win the Miss America pageant now? <laughs> hey, this is the first time I've done this one on camera. If you guys aren't laughing, then you're not paying attention. You should be totally laughing at me right now. I'm laughing at me. Okay. I'm going to leave this on while I talk to you. Try to keep a straight face, okay? <laughs> it does feel good. And we'll see if it actually stays put. Okay, so these are the hydrating sheet masks. We have another option. They're limited edition. So we only have them for a little while. I need a bigger mouth hole. <laughs> right? <laughs> good. So anyway, um, woohoo. All right. There's another one that we have as a sheet mask, and it is the biocellulose mask. Now, this one is like a facelift. There's no squishy, pushy over. It's already in there, but it uses the Korean. Now I feel funny. It uses the. <laughs> okay. Renee, if you're driving, you're, you're going to have to like go back and watch the replay. We're about 30 minutes in. So, you know, if you're not seeing this on camera, camera, then girl, you are missing out. So, right. Okay. So anyway, these are the same concept, but it's all the juices are in here. These are my favorite in terms of, because we don't normally have these, but you know, um, once you figure out how to squish the, the bag, you're fine. Okay. Like it's, and I'm. Um, this one is actually like a facelift in a jar. One of my other ones that I've demonstrated a few times, these are a couple of my other favorite masks, is the charcoal mask. Now, this thing is fantastic because it pulls out 200 times its weight in impurities. So I'll just kind of show you on the back of the hand what one of those, what one of these looks like. And it smells really good. And so I can take it and I'm going to leave it for a second on the back of my hand just so you can see. Like it's going to get drier. It'll start to turn gray. And then it's actually going to, um, it's actually going to pull out 200 times its weight in, in impurities. So when I put that on my face, I love it because it sucks out the excess oil, all of the dirt, the junk in the skin. If you have blackheads, it gets rid of that. I like to tease and say that it gets rid of the bad attitudes and the poor life choices. It really doesn't do those last two things, but it would be nice if it did, right? And so I do love that one. It just really clarifies the skin. I said, bumper to bumper. Oh, bless your heart. Um, okay. And then the other one I love is the um, moisture renewing gel mask. Now this one I will sleep in and um, you can put it on and leave it on for 10 minutes, but I like to sleep in this one. And I'll put a little bit on the other hand. It's not like a mud mask that's going to dry and, um, and then be like hard. It's a gel. So think of it like a moisturizer. You know how moisturizers, they seep into the skin and then they dry and you don't even notice they're there. So um, but I also like to put it on the back of my hands when we were talking about satin hands earlier, how your hands show the signs of aging is because they're always on the steering wheel. They're always exposed, except for those um, very short times when we go outside and we need to wear gloves. Right. But if you're like me, as soon as I get in the car, the gloves are off. And um, so but I do. These are two of my favorites. Oops. No, wait, this, this one. <laughs> these are two of my favorite masks. And right now, when you order both the um the charcoal mask and the gel renewal mask, you get a mini of each for free. Okay. So those are just some of my fun favorite masks. So <laughs> we're going to give this another minute and then I'm going to take it off. And um, so get your laugh on while you can. <laughs> um, the one of my favorite products, because we talk about anti-aging for the, um, you know what, I think if I, if you do this at home, here's a little tip. Maybe just like enjoy some peace and quiet with a good book or your favorite TV show. And don't talk to anybody a ton because, yeah, <laughs> but anyway, um, so I love targeted action toning body lotion because this is like, if we're doing anti-aging for the face, what about the body? Like, I don't know about you, but if I'm controlling 80% of what this looks like, I don't want this to look like 100% 47. And I especially don't want it to look, you know, I want to look good naked when I'm 90. Let's just be honest. And so I'm probably nobody's going to be looking at me, but me, but still. I want to see good stuff. I don't want to see like, you know, something that's saggy. And this one, it tones, firms, lifts, tightens, and smooths your entire shape in one step. And what I love about it is it hydrates for 24 hours. So every time I get out of the shower, I put it all over my arms. And I've especially started rubbing like right here on the inside. 
because um, as we age, our arms get like kind of, you can get that crepey rolly skin here on the inside that kind of sags. And it also can happen too, if you lose weight and you lose weight too quickly, the skin will kind of sag. So this helps firm it up and also helps um, firm up the cottage cheese look so it smooths out the skin. And it just works so great. And you only have to put it on once, a, you know, once a day if you wanted to, or you just do like I do. I get, I put it on every time I get out of the shower. And sometimes I shower every day and sometimes I don't. I do wash my face every day, but the rest of me is fine. I mean, you know, once a week is good, right? I'm kidding. I shower more than that. But anyway, so that's targeted action, toning body lotion. And then as we talk about wrinkles, um, we have some really fun products that, um, give you like the more targeted solution and so these are our clinical solutions line and clinical solutions is, is relatively newer to mary Kay. um basically what clinical solutions is is a dermocosmetic skincare and there's supplements that you can add to any of our regimens and um, what they do is they target specific things but they're medical grade so they're real real great concentration so let me show you some of my favorites um one of them is the clinical solutions retinol set now this one would this is the one that does it all like does everything and then we break it down and we have boosters that are a little bit more budget friendly but you can also um you know target more specifically maybe you don't need everything that this does so what does this do julie okay well let me tell you so what happens as we age this is the only science lesson you will ever get from me okay <laughs> But our skin loses its ability to produce critical proteins like collagen and elastin fibers. And that's the stuff that keeps the skin firm and lifted. And so it's due to natural aging, sun damage, environmental stressors. Um, and, you know, these factors, along with repetitive facial expressions, um, lead to inevitable forms of line and lines and wrinkles. And so the retinol set, what it does is it's a two-step system and it improves the appearance of wrinkles, uneven skin tone. Like, so I have like a lot of splotchy looking uh, dark spots on my cheeks in this area because I like the sun. And um, now I feel like I have a goatee. Oh gosh. And um, so I, I like to hang, I like to have a tan. And so what this does is it got rid of them. Like I couldn't hide them with a lot of the makeup and it got rid of them. So it also takes care of loss of firmness and your skin's going to look great. So you have a retinol, you just use it at night a couple times a week. Um, after you cleanser and um, it takes care of all those things and then you use the facial milk and what it does is it smooths the skin um, it soothes it it's a yeah excuse me soothing facial milk um, and it maximizes your results while maximizing comfort so the first time you use this you got to use both of these together and you can use the hydrating milk multiple times this is also really great for those of you that have super sensitive skin um, the milk itself or for people who um, maybe like bug bites or things like that so when you run out of your after sun gel, Christy, this is a good one. This is a good backup plan. Um, and then the other options are these boosters. So the boosters um, target specific things. We've got one that will even take care of texture. So if you feel like your skin is just really um, rough feeling and you want it to be more smooth, we've got one that you can put on at night and it's basically an exfoliant that you sleep in and you just rinse it off in the morning. We've got one that focuses on hydration. We've got one that focuses just on dark spots. And then we've got one that focuses just on wrinkles. Um, so I love the boosters. They're really great. And let me just show you a fun picture. This is one of my really sweet clients. She gave me this, but she said, promise me you'll never show any, tell anybody my name. And I said, deal. So this is her picture. And this is her, her before and after, yeah, her before, whoops, before and after. And she used it six times, just six times. Isn't that amazing? How good her skin looks after six uses. Um, and she's been using it ever since with our repair line. So those are some of my favorite ones. Okay, we're taking the mask off now. Um, I could leave it on longer, but I feel funny. So, and then, um, and you just take it and you toss it in the trash and you can even just take and massage in the rest of the good juices that are on your face. So those are the hydrating sheet masks that are uh, require a countertop to open. No, <laughs> just something hard to push on. A pair, either that or you probably have better um, strength in your hands than I do. 
Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is um, our, our microdermabrasion. So there's two things that's always really great to add to any regimen that you just use every once in a while. It's not something you do on a daily basis. But if you want your skin to really glow and be really super healthy, you need a good mask and get one that is going to target what you need. So if you have excess oil um, and blackheads and things like that, then go with the charcoal mask. If your skin is a little bit drier, then get yourself a, a hydrating sheet mask or use the, I put it on this hand, the, the gel mask. Um, and then, you know, if you just kind of like a little bit of it all, then get both. So, but when we, the other thing we want to do is exfoliate regularly and you need a deeper exfoliation. And the reason being is because, you know, the cell turnover slows way down as we age, unfortunately. And so instead of renewing itself over and over and over again, um, it can sometimes, it'll do one of two things. It'll either park itself on your face and become dry flaky patches or it will build up into your skin and it will make blackheads or just discoloration. So just, to, and sometimes that depends on your skin type. Um, and a good example is if you've ever noticed a man's beard when he's got ingrown beard hairs. Um, I noticed this when my um, ex-husband, he'd be like, he had so many and I started having him use this product and then I didn't have to get the tweezers in and his skin would like leave these dead layers over it. And I would, and his hair couldn't break through. And so that's kind of a, like a gross representation, but that's kind of a good visual if you can get that in your head of what that looks like when that skin does it. So um, microdermabrasion, we have a couple of different exfoliating options. Microdermabrasion is a fantastic option. So this one does um, one layer of dead skin cells. And um, if you've got this, you can do it with me. I'm just gonna do it really quickly. But um, the other thing that it does is, um, so it also just takes off that top layer. It's a physical exfoliant. So you want to use it one to three times a week. You can also, um, I'm just going to, I'm just getting my face a little bit wetter. Um, you can also um, put it in your shower and that will remind you to use it there. When I get my uh, obligatory sunburn, it's like, doesn't matter how much sunscreen I put on my shoulders, they always get burned. And um, so it's great when I start peeling, I use it in the shower to move, to exfoliate that dead skin off. And so then I'm not like flaky looking, but you just take this in a gentle pill like a pea size amount. You go, you don't have to rub hard. You just go in a gentle motion all over your face. Just avoid your eyes and your actual lips. And you would do this one to three times a week. This doesn't have to be a daily thing. And actually it shouldn't be a daily thing. Because if you think of it, it's kind of like when, if you've ever seen somebody or if you've um, sandpapered something yourself before, like if you sanded down a piece of wood furniture, think of it like this. You're sanding, it's like sanding that top veneer off. But if you keep doing it every day, you're gonna get down to where you have no wood left. So you definitely want to just use this, you know, leave a day in between. You can do it two to three times a week. Um, and so that's, um, that is the microdermabrasion. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and rinse that off. And give me one second and just pardon me. I'm gonna dip down in the sink and do that. And I'm gonna go ahead, um, this will kind of show you how it's getting grayer on the charcoal mask. And so when it gets all gray, I leave it on for like 10 minutes or so and then rinse it off. I'm just going to take it off now. I also like the charcoal mask, in, or excuse me, the microdermabrasion in the shower because it just seems to be a little easier, at least for me, to rinse it off than to do it necessarily at the sink. Um, so, And you can do it morning or evening. That's the other nice thing about charcoal masks. So if you're a morning shower, then that's a great thing to throw in there. But it does feel really good on your skin and it and it will get rid of all those dry flaky patches it's going to get rid of the it's going to help with between it and the charcoal mask if you have blackheads in your nose you won't anymore um i also like the fact that it has really sandpapered down my scar tissue on my face i had a car i was in a car accident when i was a teenager and i, I had a lot of facial damage and so I have a lot of scarring here, here, and then under my chin. And so microdermabrasion has been great in that it, uh, slowly over time, without having to go to a, a plastic surgeon, it has smoothed out that skin so it's soft enough that I can cover it with makeup and you don't see it hardly at all. Okay, if you're doing microdermabrasion, I always recommend the Microdermabrasion Plus um, set because it comes with the pore minimizer, which does exactly what it sounds like. It minimizes the pores, but it also puts the wonderful um, 
nutrients and vitamins back on the skin that you've just exfoliated off. And it's got a calming, I think it's chamomile in it. So it feels really good. And, um, but I do love the pore, you know, it helps reshape the pores because sometimes we tug on our face, especially during allergy season. Anybody got those? And if you're constantly tugging on your nose or blowing it, then you make your pores bigger. So this helps shrink them back into size. So that is microdermabrasion, y'all. Um, if you want to go deeper, then um, we have a glycolic facial peel. Now, this one is my very, very favorite because it goes three layers deep and it gives you brighter skin. You get no more hills and valleys. Um, it's so it keeps your skin really smooth. It's going to be more even faster because three layers is deeper than one layer. Right. And it enhances the renewal process. So that is our glycolic facial peel. Love that one. I love them all, but that one's my favorite. Okay. And then, um, so that brings us to, we're going back to, I remember I, in the beginning, I said three steps in the morning and three steps in the evening to control 80% of how old you look. So the first step was that cleanser. And then the other stuff is bonus. Um, the next step is your day or your night cream. And so we like to say they're married because they work really well together. And um, one is that today, the day cream is your sunscreen, SP, has sunscreen SPF 30 in it, and it's your protector. So it's going to protect you from UVA and UVB damage that we get from all of our technology screens, as well as the sun. And, um, and then, of course, from the environment. The other thing is at night, this is your corrector. So you, And the corrector is like, think about it. Um, when we go to sleep at night, that's when our brains store everything. Our body kind of shuts down enough to repair itself and do kind of what the plants do, right? So to heal. Well, the largest organ in our body is our skin. And um, so this helps correct damage on the face. And I always recommend, here's another little tip, y'all. Foundation goes to the jawline. Skincare should go to the bra line. So whenever I do my serums and stuff, and um, just on a regular, I will take a little bit and I'll pat it on my face. So that's another tip. If you're oily, you just kind of pat your moisturizer and then go up on your neck so that you are going against that turkey neck thing that happens when you're older. Old, getting older is the pit sometimes. Um, I mean, if stuff would just not sag. So just saying. Um, and then I, of course, get it on my skin. So this whole decollete area, your neck and your face is, a, is the best place to do that. So the night cream, you wake up with younger skin because it helps your skin rejuvenate itself. It helps speed up that process that slowed down. So we've taken off the dead layers with the, the exfoliation. And then this helps speed that process back up. So, and then protector, corrector. Which one do you think is the husband? <laughs> and then last but not least is your eye creams. And so in the Miracle 3D set, it comes with an eye cream, much like the Repair Skincare set does. Um, one of the things I love about the eye cream is this is that it does it all. So, for example, if you have um, puffy eyes, if you have dark circles under your eyes, if you have wrinkles or crow's feet, if you have um, sagging lids or or um, crepey looking skin, like, you know, how they get like the like powder collects and it just makes you look older than this is the eye cream you want because it takes care of all of that stuff. So um, it's like the push up bra for your eye area. But I want to teach you the proper way to put on eye cream because a lot of women will do it incorrectly. So um, and I learned a new little tip. You go on the orbital bone. And actually, if you're not sure where your orbital bone is, then what you do is if you kind of tap here, when you feel when you feel like your eyeball isn't moving anymore, that's the bone. So like if I tap up here, it kind of makes my vision wiggle a little bit. So I just put a little bit on the back of my fingers on the ring finger. And I use the ring finger because it has the least amount of pressure. Did you know that the skin around your eyes is 75 percent thinner than the skin on the rest of your face? So think of it like tissue paper. It's real delicate. So I just kind of take and I'll just pop right there. So you can see right there. And then I'll do the same thing up top on my brow bone. And then I pat towards my nose underneath, going wide, okay? And towards my nose on the top on that brow bone, almost right, like right up underneath my, where my eyebrows sit. Yours may sit a little differently. And the heat from my eyeball will draw it as close to the lash line as it needs to be, but it's going to pull it down into that skin underneath um, and, and then up that way. If I put it right here underneath my lashes, where logically you would think it would go, 
then my lashes are going to grab it, stick it in my skin, and then I'm going to think I have sensitive skin. When really what I have is lotion in my eyeball. And if anybody puts a cream in their eyeball, that doesn't feel good. So that is your um, 3D eye cream. And that comes, so that's, so just to kind of recap the regimen for 80%, and I got one or two other products to share with you tonight, um, that to, to control 80% of how old you look, you cleanse in the morning, then you put your day cream on and you put your eye cream and the, the eye cream hydrates for 12 hours. So at the end of the day, you cleanse, then you put your night cream on. Thank you, Mary Kay, for putting it in a gray bottle. And then you put your eye cream on. So three steps, three easy things in the morning, three easy things at night. Um, and you can even throw this in your shower. One of my other favorites that I love is a pampering treat. And I'm actually going to put these on. I want to show you how, because these stay on better than the last thing I did. And it's the hydrating, um, the hydrogel eye patches. Oh my gosh, these things are fantastic. And so, okay. So you can say bye-bye bags. These are like your immediate fix. The eye cream that I just put on, that's going to, like, that's your long-term permanent solution. Um, you'll see some amazing results in a couple of weeks. So I just learned something else too, is when you've got the lid on, if you store them upside down, it keeps the juices at the top. And I was like, oh, so I'll try that and let you know how it goes. Um, but there are these cute little, I don't know if you can see that, these little pack, oops, here we go. Patches, they're like, look like yin and yangs. There's 30 um, things in here. What you're like, probably like, what the heck is a hydrogel? It's basically, hang on, I'm trying to get this out. Um, it's basically um, water suspended in a gel matrix. So, but it's got all these extra conditioners and um, it's a saturated a, a formula to deliver the benefits to your skin in a fun way. So I just use a little one out and you can put these in lots of different places, but say goodbye to bags and dry under eye skin. So I just pop that sucker right there, but you could also put them here. You could put a set here. So you could think of it like, you know, you could have like a targeted face mask, right? So that is hydrogel eye patches, but hang on, I got to do the other side because, <laughs> excuse me. And you can just use the, you know, you can put these on and you can leave them on and walk around the house and do your, do all your things. And then when you feel like they're becoming one with your skin, that's when I take them off. I'm like, oh yeah, we don't want you to dry on there permanently. I don't think they would, but you know, just in case. And then I just um, toss them off take them off and toss them in the trash. And those are hydrogel eye patches. Oh my gosh, that feels good. You guys have no idea. If you don't have a set of these, you need some. Trust me, you need some. You'll like them. The, I used to I used to call these the don't don't um, kill my family or my roommate um, thing because you know they're just they're just soothing. They're very soothing. So hydrogel eye patches. Okay. Last couple of little things that I wanted to share with you. I told you um, in the very beginning. I kind of showed you my my secret weapons for keeping my makeup on. Um, I wanted to show you a couple of things that will help you love foundation. If you don't love foundation, it's probably most, most reasons I hear is um, it's, it's too cakey or I can't get the right color or it collects in the cracks and stuff like that. So um, let me just share with you a couple of the things that I love that makes, makes my life easier with foundation. It's foundation primer. I was telling you how I put that on first and you know, you can even wear foundation primer by itself. Um, what it does is lots of fun things, but I'm going to show you this picture because it's awesome. So if you'll notice this picture, it's a picture of an orange. So on one side of the orange, they put um, this person that took this picture, put um, foundation primer on and put the foundation over it. And then on the back of the orange, they didn't put any, oops, hang on. I can't, it's backwards. I can, they didn't put any foundation primer underneath. So you, so you can see the difference. The visible difference is fantastic, but Primer acts like spackle guys for your face. It smooths out your skin surface to make your foundation look flawless. So just like you prime a wall, you prime your face. And if you look at this picture of this orange, I mean, come on, who would go without Mary Kay primer? Crazy, right? It also acts like Velcro guys. So it holds your foundation on all day. And when you use primer, you use less foundation. So you don't get that cakey feel. The other neat thing is if you're oily, um, you're going to appreciate the added oil absorption layer that the foundation primer provides. And it's got a sunscreen SPF 15 in it. Another neat thing is like foundations. Okay, so we have lots of different types of foundations to choose from. 
And, um, and of course, um, it has cosmetic benefits like evening out skin tone, covering up imperfections and giving you a flawless look. So it does all that, but its primary function is to protect your healthy skin from the outside world. And so in fact, studies show guys that foundation, women who wear foundation on a regular basis actually age more gracefully than women who do not. And so, um, so we have a formula that'll work for you. And, the, and if you're not sure of the shade, especially with virtual, like I have clients all over the country, but what I have learned is the foundation shade qu um, quiz on our website is scary accurate and it will tell us what shade you are in our liquid foundations that has the most shade range of all of our foundation types so once we know that your consultant can help translate that into whatever else it is whether it's a concealer or a powder um, if we have cream to powders we've got powder foundations we've got um, cc creams which are like a tinted moisturizer so they're very sure sure coverage really popular in the summer and then we also have let's see what else do we have um, 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 I think I, oh, and the little liquids and we've got some for dry skin and some for, um, oily skin. So let me just show you the other trick to, you know, we can help you figure out which one would be great for you, but this is another great trick. Sometimes the other thing to loving foundation besides foundation primer is what you apply it with. And so just to show you this, you're going to see my phone in the mirror. Uh, let me see if I can move it over. Just nope. Okay, here we go. All right. So I put a stripe, I put the liquid foundation on and I put a stripe with whoop, here, my finger. And so when I did my finger, notice how it's uneven, was frustrating. Well, the second stripe is using a wet sponge. So you just, a, or a damp sponge, it's too see-through. You lose all your coverage. But this third one is a brush. So here's the great thing. You notice how even it is the whole way. So when you put your makeup on with a foundation brush like this, um, then what you're doing is getting really great coverage and, you know, get you a couple because you need to wash this, you know, as soon as my bristles start to get dirty about a third of the way down, I put a little Dawn dish soap or, um, in my hand and I rinse them out and I, I, I warm water and I rinse it and then I dry it at an angle where the bristles are pointing down so that the water doesn't seep into the handle and disturb, destroy it. So guys, here's an example. Like this is so dirty, it's so ready. You can see my bristles are dirty all the way down to here. So this is our regular line one. This one is limited edition. Um, it's part of our beauty that counts. You'll notice it's heart shaped. So Mary Kay has a charitable foundation that supports the fight against domestic violence and cancers. And so um, when you buy one of our liquid foundations, you can get this brush for $5, just five bucks. And a dollar of that five goes to the charitable foundation to fight domestic violence and cancer. <coughs> so it's a wonderful little extra goodie that you can get this season. <coughs> so ladies, I hope that was helpful and informative. I have some fun specials for you. I'll post those um, in the comments on the group. And um, so you can take a look at those if there's anything that you would like for yourself. And then of course, if you've commented and left me your name and I put you in a drawing, um, you know what, I'll probably just, your consultant will give you a gift. If it's me, then I will send you a little something in the mail. And um, I just want to say thanks for being here. I hope it was fun. Give me some feedback, guys. Let me know what you enjoyed and we'll do it again. Thanks so much. Have a great night. Bye-bye.